Hello everyone, we're going to be checking out the Don't Stop Slashing Extreme Challenge. Missions are no death, five turns or less, party of five or less. Going to go in with a budget team and see how it works out. We have Rivera. Uh, full evasion, health and mana, pretty much for her. Next up, Golbez, pretty much for the main damage. Mana, magic, killers. Did give him a discernment as well. And we are using Oliveira's card. It is in the shop to pick for the ticket. And we're using Clash of Wills Chain Cap Helm. Only Clash item I'm using. And we do have his Curse Armor on. So for him, 300 Reaper Killer. Sylvie. We are using the Seraph Staff. This just saves us a turn. So this way I don't have to worry about RNG getting her stoned on the final wave. And means I don't have to worry about using an item to cure her and having to take another turn to set up. Other than that, trust and three stars for lower mana. Amaranth, just the ribbon and trust in the base. And the shift, do wield build with some killer and yeti combat style. So we do have 175 Reaper for him. And Gaudria. So just super, we just needed a quad chaining partner. All right, let's see how it goes. All right, so based off the easy, we can spring cleaning, make sure that we don't get diseased early, Leighton Bew, and Marion watch over me. And Golbez, Jet Black Curse, and Double Ruler. So that should clear the wave. Everybody else is just going to guard, we'll get Mana Drained and Zombied, which will cure at the end of the turn. All right, wave two, gonna do the same thing. So we're just gonna hit reload. Sylvie goes first. Golbez takes everything out. Everybody else guards. So yep, mana drain, zombie, which cures. And now they get to go first. So, only Amaranth got stoned that time, but we weren't taking any chances with the staff. So, we need the spring cleaning. We're going to Gracious Knight for break resist. And Marion, watch over me for some buffs. Rivera. We're going to reverberation the power stuff up. Give herself physical cover and provoke. Let's see, Godria. We're going to Photon Cartridge and Atomic Energy. Just get that quad unlocked. Golbez. Jet Black Curse. Double Ruler should clear everything out and get us zombied. Yeah, so three things going to Mana Drain us. We're going to just Limit Burst with Amaranth. Get his modifier stacked. All right, so for Rivera, let's do Reaper Killer on Golbez, Reaper Killer on Amareth. And Light and Bew. Sylvie. Let's just give mana to Golbez, so we'll just triple mana. Amaranth's gonna shift and just auto attack. Now 
we get our breaks and everything. Golbez is going to Meteor and Godria. We're just going to match and quad bolt him. All right, Golbez goes first. Not bad on that burst. Alright, let's see. How much health do you give up? We give up 2,000 health. She has 6,000 health. Alright, let's fill mana. She should stay alive. Yep, just barely. Rivera. So you might as well get the Libra in while we're here. Let's see, I could do another 500 mana if I want to. So we just have to win because that heal will kill us next turn anyway if we survive. Alright, so Golbez is going to Meteor again. Auto attack with Amaranth. Quad Bolting. Alright, let's see if this will finish it off. There we go. Now right, let's take a look at damage. So yeah, obviously Golbez was set up to do most of the damage. Amaranth did a decent amount. I mean, we could have also geared up Godria to actually deal some damage and maybe made that a little bit faster. And actually, with Golbez clearing out all the waves, we probably could have just had Amaranth and Godria replaced with just two single target damage dealers instead of AoE. But it worked out. And there's all missions. So we managed all missions with a budget team. Not too bad overall, so we're going to end this video here. Hope everybody enjoyed.